Hey guys, what's up here, Filippo, and welcome to a brand new video. So if you're watching me right now, you're probably not exporting in the greatest way for YouTube, or you just have kind of some issues on your export, and whatever you're looking in your monitor looks washed out on YouTube. So there are a few steps and a few things that you wanna do while color grading your project. And I'm gonna talk about the scene referred method and the display refer method. Both these methods work fine. Uh, you have to choose one or another dependently on the type of project that you got. But on the baseline, there are a few things that you wanna tweak at the beginning if your delivery must go on YouTube. So first things is just going on Resolve Preferences and then going in general and tweaking use Mac display color for viewers and automatically tag Rex9 scene clip as Rex9. You want to restart Resolve, and then when you re enter inside your project, if you will be working in C referred, you will be inside the Rex709 because normally Resolve tend to open up new project in Rex709 on in Rex709 2.4, which is the broadcast gamma used. The one that you don't want to set and you want to use is Rex709A this one right here. Then you will click save, make your management, your color to tweak around and export. And this will be the quickest method to solve your problem. But you also have to understand why this thing happened. It happened because YouTube wants the 111 and CLC tag for its color space. And normally when you're grading for a uh, Rex 09 2.4 gamma for a broadcast delivery, you will have a 121 and CLC. So it is the incorrect one and often people tend to tell that QuickTime is the problem of this. QuickTime is not the issues, it's the NCLC tag that it's not mapped in the correct way. So if you'll be delivering in Rec 7098, you will see that your color will be trustful. So the one that we will see on your monitor, on the Venture Soul, on your Mac, on your Windows, will be the same as the ones that you will see on YouTube. Also, same thing, if you want to work display referred, you just want to tweak things around here in this way. You want to work color managed, obviously, you want to tag Rex 098 for the output in the exact same way as being seen referred. And for your color manager, you might stand inside Rex 09, but I might suggest you to take something bigger like the DaVinci White Gamut. In this way, you will also be able to work with HDR wheels. You also want to tag your clips in this way. If you have a clip like this one, there's a lock clip and not rock clip. You want to go in media, right click your clip, and be sure that in the input color space, you got the correct color space. In this case, I got film generation three. I can see the transcode into Rec 709. I'm already mapped for Rec 709A for the delivery. Then I'm gonna make a few adjustments at this, and I might tell you that I'm ready to color grade my image for the YouTube expert. For the deliver, uh, you got a few options. I normally tend to uh, stay inside QuickTime and use Apple ProRes 42HQ even for YouTube, but if you want a smaller file, you can just tag it at H265. If you want to have a bigger resolution, going to restrict to, I might say 50 megabytes per second will be great. I just crank it up a bit more and all the rest might be okay. You want to be sure to have your audio tagged down and if you want to tag a different name for the old timeline, you can do it. But again, be sure to have tweak in your preferences the Rec 709A uh, you know, clip and the Mac Display Color Profile for viewers. And again, tag your output for Rec 709A if you're working display referred or scene referred, whatever you will be working with. I hope this video has been helpful. I'll see you soon. Until the next time, be brave and make it better.